Hi everyone, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do a general collective read for the star sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. Some of this may resonate for some Librans, but not for all. Uh, take what resonates and kick it back, what doesn't. Um, also, I've got a small angel read for you as well. So I hope everyone has been doing well. You've been taking care of yourself, doing your daily affirmations, all that good jazz. Um, as you know, time is fluid, so this can be past, present, and future energies. Um, I did thank my subscribers. I'd like to say thank you again to all the old and new as well. Welcome. Um, also, I cuss in my videos, guys. I don't always cuss, but I do. And when I do, I do. Um... I don't read like any other YouTube reader, so if any of these things offend you, please click off. Thanks so much, okay? Um, without further ado, anything that you need to know about me and the channel will be listed in the description box below. Excuse me for the noise. Uh, drop one of my stones somewhere it shouldn't be. But uh, let's get to it, fam. Okay? So we have um, the Empress. We have... Um, the Queen of Cups, we have the Strength card, and we have the Chariot. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. So this is my Illuminati Tarot. This is what I use to determine which um, star sign gets their reading. This is my oldest deck. This is my very first deck. So it's full of energies. So I use this to go ahead, and it's also pretty tattered. That's one of the reasons why I don't use it. It's super torn up. But, um... I, I still like to keep it around because it's so full of energy and I don't want to let, let that good energy go anywhere, okay? Um, and we have, like I said, at the bottom of the deck, the King of Wands. So some of you are looking really good right now, but you're stressed about something. You're worried or there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your energies, but you're needing to have strength in a situation. You could have Leo in your chart. It could be you, them, or both. But someone wants to move swiftly towards victory. This could be um, a cancer. Um, again, there's quite a bit of water energy there. So this could be in your chart or in someone else's or both. And this also goes for same-sex relationships, guys. So some of you need to go ahead and purify body, uh, body, blah, blah, body mind, and soul, okay? Because you have new beginnings coming your way. You have brilliant ideas that are divinely guided. And not only once, but you get twice um, a blessed career change. Something is triggering you to have a new career, okay? And trust and follow the renewed passion in your love life and career. So like I said, you have two cards here that are staying, stating this. Actually three, because this, these three here are highlighting career changes for a lot of you. Not all of you, but a lot of you. And some of you are healing from a broken heart. Something that had you all tied up in your emotions, your feelings. So this is why you need to purify yourself. And some of you could be dealing with a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But underneath this card, someone is defending themselves in a situation. Could be you or them or both. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do away with um, this for now. These are the cards that I start out to give you a small mini read. And I'm going to use these cards again to close out your reading. So I hope y'all been doing the work. And I know I've been working my ass loose. And I tell you, just when you think that you know where you're going, spirit will pull you back in another direction. And I'm just learning to go with the flow of things. So I try to do my best to stay in a good mind, state of mind and state of spirit. When I don't, this is when you don't see me, you don't hear from me because I've got my own shit to contend, contend with as a divine feminine. Um, we go through a lot of ups and downs at times. Um, despite what we do, it doesn't always happen that everything is going to go the way we want it to. 
And it's not easy being a twin, I promise you. So let's get started with your reading. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node, what do we have? We have the Ace of Swords. So someone is about to receive truth and clarity in this situation. Could be dealing with another air sign such as yourself. This could be you or this could be them. Some of you have been needing to get clarity in a situation. Some of you have been asking for truth in a situation. Some of you have been uh, gearing your strength up in order to receive this truth in a situation. At the bottom of your deck, currently, you have the Ace of Chalices, and this is Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is new. This is new love. This can be a renewal of love, or this could be new love coming your way, Libra. But someone is definitely needing truth and clarity in this situation, and somebody is about to get it. Either you're going to give it, or somebody else is going to give it to you. Next card out, and I don't do reversals, guys, okay, is the Eight of Chalices. This is more water energy here. Um, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So someone has walked away from something that has been very painful, that's been heartbreaking for them. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, or you can have it in your chart, or they can have it in theirs, or you can both have it. But something has been difficult, something has been hard where you've needed strength, or you could possibly be dealing with a Leo in order to walk away from this situation. Um, for me, this is my spiritual awakening card. So some of you are going through a spiritual awakening. This can be um, significators for a divine uh, union. And at the bottom of the deck right now, currently we have the magician. So someone has been manifesting. Have you guys been trying to manifest a job or love? We have the ten of chalices. So it looks like you've been trying to manifest love in your life. More Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, more water energy. So some of you are in a love situation. Um, you're feeling like you're receiving all the love that you can possibly receive at this point. And that's a beautiful thing. But um, I'm going to find out why you need to have strength for this love. And why somebody is walking away from a love situation. At the bottom of the deck, we have... Yeah, we got the two of chalices. So we've got um, divine um, divine unions here at play. Not all of you are twin flames, divine counterparts, but some of you are, and you're being awakened to it. Libra, <clears throat> sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, north node, and south node, ten of pentacles. Some of you, this is um, coming to a close of a situation because I got two tens on the board. So some of you could be see seeing 10-10 in a situation. 10-10 is an ending. So some of you are closing out an old cycle in a relationship and you could possibly be going forward into something new. But currently at the bottom of my deck, I have um, the devil card. So some of you could be in a very toxic codep codependent relationship. There could be uh Addictions going on as well as what I'm being told in this situation. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. Y'all got three cards that popped out all at the same time. You got the Sun card. So you could be getting truth from a Leo or a Leo could be giving you truth. This is either going to free you or going to make you happy in the situation. The next card out is strength. So you definitely got Leo in your chart or you are dealing with a Leo. So some of you are in a situation where you have, you're needing to find the strength to walk away from this situation that has been very toxic, very codependent for you. It could be addictive. You could be addicted to the person that you're walking away from. Next card out we have is the seven of chalices. So someone is confused where this love is concerned or someone feels like they have multiple options in a situation. But I'm feeling more like somebody is confused about this love that they have to walk away from. And somebody is being asked to take a leap of faith in this situation. This is Aries energy. So we have fire, water, fire, fire. 
You got a lot of fire sitting in your um in your situation here and water. So some of you, and we have one earth card on the board, and it's the Ten of Pentacles, and this is signifying completion. Because two tens side beside each other, that's that's an ending, baby. That's an ending. So you need to take a leap forward, okay? And you need to do it swiftly. I got two Leos out here. Somebody needing to find strength and somebody is going to feel like they're going to get illumination on truth. Mm -mm -mm. What's going on, Libras? What is going on, babies? And at the bottom of the deck, you have temperance. This is, Ar <clears throat> this is Arch Archangel Michael. This is my favorite angel. This is the angel I pray to on a regular basis. But Archangel Michael is here to assist you to have temperance and balance in this situation. You need to get yourself together. And this is what I was saying in reference to purifying yourself. Or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or you could have Sagittarius in your chart. You, them, or both. Okay? Libra. Sun, moon, rising. Mercury, Venus. North node and south node. What do we have for you, babies? Next card came out, damn it, the devil card. So somebody is going to tell you some hella lies about a situation. You want truth and clarity? I don't know if you're going to get it in this situation. And whatever it is, if you get uh, truth and uh, clarity in this situation, it's coming from a very toxic person or you could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody could have Capricorn in their chart. But something is seriously... Uh, Something is very toxic. Something, excuse me, is extremely toxic for you to have the devil card and the ace of swords together. So use your discernment in this situation because I don't feel like you're going to get the truth, but you're going to walk away nonetheless. This truth may be wrapped in deception. So you're going to have to Use your own discernment in this situation. We have the Ace of Wands down here at the bottom of the deck as well. So somebody wants a passionate new beginning. Someone could be wanting sex in this situation. But this action is going to come forth very slowly. It's going to seem like there's no action being taken at all, even though it's grounded and it's stable. Somebody does want something to come together. They want to collaborate with you, Libra. And you could be manifesting or they could be manifesting. And we have the King of Chalices here. So you definitely could be dealing with another water sign. Because I got water all over the place. I got water here, 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 here. I got water. Okay? And someone could be very good at masking their emotions. They can be showing up as um, very much in control of their emotions. But make no mistake, this person is very intuitive. They're very psychic. Um, they're spiritually gifted. This could be you or them or both, but somebody wants victory in a situation. Somebody could be talking about, let's take a little trip, but there's judgment. So something is going for reconciliation in a situation. Nine of Wands. Somebody is very defensive. They're guarded. They're wounded. Somebody's hurt. Somebody still wants to offer love in this situation, but somebody is definitely taking a step back. They're focused on their um, finances and they've closed their heart off in the situation. And somebody is still very indecisive about this. Let's go forward, Libra. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, north node, south node. What's up, family? Damn it. Right, well, we won't find out because a lot of shit came popping in. Yeah, intemperance was at the bottom of the deck, guys, remember? So you need to get yourself balanced in this situation, okay? So we have balance and patience. You need to patience, have patience. You need to temper yourself because this journey is going to be difficult for you. This is what I'm feeling. 
Also, you have the two of swords, so you're not seeing something clearly and you're being um, told to detach from a situation so you can go within and get inner guidance and clarity so you can have temperance and balance in this situation, Libra. And what's being illuminated is someone felt, this is my illumination card, and what's being illuminated is somebody was left out in the cold financially and emotionally. Could be either you or them or both. Libra. What is going on? We have the eight of swords. So someone feels trapped in a love relationship. So everything that appears to be is not what it seems. But you do have a new beginning, um, a new start, something that's stable, something that's grounded, something tangible. So again, some of you could be going through a new um going to a new job. Some of you could be getting a new home. Some of you could be getting a new car. Some of you can be getting a whole new life more or less because this spiritual awakening signifies that purpose solely. Okay. So you're feeling stuck in this situation presently. You're feeling like you don't know what to do. You're not seeing things clearly. You feel like you don't have a way out of this situation, but sweetie, you do. This is air energy. You're all in your head about this situation. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. <clears throat> the next card that came out is the Six of Pentacles. So someone feels like there is not an equal give and take in a relationship. There's no reciprocity in this situation. And somebody wants balance in a situation. Again, this signifies you, Libra, balance. You love balance, Libra. You love balance. Temperance recognizes balance in a situation, something that you are not receiving presently in your relationship. This is why something is coming to a close because it is not equally yoked. It is not balanced. At the bottom of the deck, I'll be damned. Now look at this. King of Wands, King of Wands. Did I say it before? I'm saying it now. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we do have Aries on the board. We have Sagittarius on the board. We got Leo twice, damn it. Libra. Y'all can have this in your chart. Use them or both. We have the Page of Pentacles. So someone wants to give you a tentative offer, something small, something tangible. It could be Maybe a night out on the town. It could be gifts. It could be money. I don't know. But for others of you, I'm going to stick this in here too. I didn't call it before, but I'm going to call it now. Some of you could be paying child support or your person could be paying child support to someone. This is, a, this is also a child. So child support is involved in here. And at the bottom of the deck, mm, Knight of Wands. Now. Child support, Knight of Wands, that goes together, hand in hand, boo. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Somebody has gotten very clear about a situation and they're ready to cut it the hell out. They're tired of being in the five of chalices, emotions, where they feel hurt, remorse, regret, loss. Somebody has poured out all the love, all the feelings, all the emotions in a situation, but they're not looking and seeing that there's still two cards left in this situation. That could be you or them or both, but somebody feels regret. Somebody is ashamed of their actions, Libra, either you or them, and something is being delayed or blocked. Finances. This is also a part of that new Blessed career transition. You're being transitioned out of old into something new. There's healing and renewal, hope. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, another uh, air, air sign like yourself. But this is also conception of a baby. But there's been a third party situation. That's why you were healing a broken heart when I pulled the angel messages as well. Someone from your past. This could be a past life soulmate, or this could be someone from your recent past, Libra. Uh, water energy. Ten of swords. I'll be damned. And look at here. Justice. There's you, Libra, right there. Let's go forward, family. Libra. Sun, moon, rising. <clears throat> Mercury, Venus, north node, and south node. 
And I'm not like every other reader. I take the cards that are given to me because spirit be on my ass about eating. Look, nigga, take them damn cards. You hear what I said? All right? I'll be, my damn spirit guides is crazy as fuck. But I am too. My chart is hellified as well. Um, I got seven of wands and I have the lovers. Boom. There you go. I told you some of you are in the twin flame and a divine connection. We have the strength. You're needing to find strength in this situation. Stand fast, Libra. Don't let go. And do not allow other people to come in and put you on the defense. Stand your ground in this situation. And this is also my same-sex relationship cards. Because some of you have a decision to make. You could have Gemini in your chart. You, them, or both. But someone is definitely in a divine counterpart um, situation. And you're needing to have strength in this. But you do have a decision to make. And someone has gotten very clear as well. Yet again, because I have more air energy. The King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody wants truth and clarity in this situation. And they're ready to cut it out if they don't get it. Somebody is being very logical, very analytical. There is no emotion in this. And someone wants a new start. Somebody want to give you some good dick. I'll give you some good cooch. One of the two. But there's been a lot of conflict. Lies, competition, betrayal, deceit in a situation. This is also my co-worker card. So some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody at work. Or your other part. Your other part, uh, counterpart could have been doing this at work. Fucking around. Not taking any action. Wanting to offer something. But not doing anything. Somebody wants to manifest something. But yet again... Here's that damn king of chalices. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that definitely wants to wants to collab with you. Libra. Six of Swords. You got the Six of Chalices, the Seven of Chalices, and the Six of Swords. So somebody is ready to leave a situation. Somebody has gone through a transformation. See the butterflies? They look like two hearts from a distance. But somebody is ready to move forward from a situation. Something that has been difficult. Something that has kept somebody confused. An illusion. Illusions of your mind. Libra. Knight of Wands. Take a leap of faith. You need to take action and take that leap of faith forward. You got communication coming in. Could be from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is spying on you. They're watching you. Somebody could be um, behaving immaturely in this situation as well. But someone still, you know, is like, like a fucking deer in headlights. They don't know what to do. They're not accepting. They're not rejecting. They're not doing shit about this offer. And it could be very deceptive. Or somebody could be doing something very sneaky. Seven of Swords. But you're emotional. Because again, we have the Queen of Wands. I mean the Queen. Well, shit, it could be a Queen of Wands somewhere. Shit, I don't know. But um, I, if I said it, it's there. But we do have a lot of fire here. So I'm not off the mark. But um, we do have a Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups justice so you're going to get karmic justice in this situation libra or you're going to get legal uh, justice in this situation and i feel like you're going to get both because there's been a lot of lying deception betrayal it takes a lot somebody's been stabbed backstabbed repeatedly in a situation either you or them libra so let's go forward loves and put some um messages on your reading I'm going to start with the Earth Magic Oracle deck. Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus. What is the energy for my subscribers? Green Man, Synergy. So some of you are in the process of where you are going to have abundance. A great deal of abundance. 
that green man and everything is coming together and you have earth magic. So use your earth magic to call in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. The fairies are here to assist you. My next cards are the energy oracle deck, Libras. What is the energy for my Libran subscribers? Thank you. We have the thinking woman. Hmm. Looks like the empress to me. Yin and yang. Twin flame energy. You need to balance. Yet again. Temperance. Balance. These coincide. You need to find balance in the situation, love. And this thinking woman is someone that is contemplating. They're pondering. And this is not the first time something of this nature has shown up in your reading. So it is definitely trying to enlist you to see that you need to balance yourself out so you can get clarity and guidance in a situation that's that like the hermit. Last set is the um, Archangel Oracle deck. Librans. Can I get the energies for my Libra subscribers, please? Thank you. Counselor. You're a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Most Librans, um, usually when you're in a happy state of mind, you have the ability to have leadership because everything has to be in a balanced state for you to operate and feel like you're operating from a uh, practical and a good space, a good place. And you um, and many people benefit from that guidance and reassurance and a lot of you are wise in a lot of different ways because Librans learn so many different aspects of themselves and you're deep thinkers about things. Henceforth, the thinking woman. And this doesn't have to be a woman. This can be a man as well. So I want to thank you, Librans. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends. You can find me on Instagram as Ascended Twin 144K. You can find me on Facebook as Nikita Kelly Ascended Twin. And you can find me here as Ascended Twin 144K on YouTube. Thanks so much, Soul Family. I love you guys to death. Bye-bye for now.